In a kitchen in Colorado, Lila is making a recipe from where she grew up 3,000 miles away. Y como siempre trabajaba eh, preparando patacón. Patacón is a dish she brought when she came from Venezuela to Denver six months ago. La parte más difícil es preparar la carne. Now she hopes to share that recipe with others. Comida de mi país y comida que me enseñó a hacer mi mamá, a preparar mi mamá. Not just a recipe, but part of her culture, her country. As part of a cookbook, she and other immigrants are sharing their best recipes. Me siento famosa. <laughs> No, me siento de verdad muy, muy orgullosa porque es primera vez que estoy eh, en un libro. Cocina Libre features the stories of immigrants alongside the recipes they bring with them. It's powerful to see them front and center, right? Dr. Julia Rancroni with DU co-authored the cookbook to help bring the chef's stories to life. You know, so often we say immigrants come here with nothing, right? And I don't think that's true. I think that this is one way that immigrants stay connected with, with who they are, who, with where they come from. Um, and so I, I think, you know, food is a really good way to explore identity for sure. And the people featured in it have a place to share their part in their plate from home. Nuestra comida es muy deliciosa, nuestra cultura, o sea, todo, todo. The book is available on Amazon. It comes in both English and Spanish. I have the English one here. Proceeds benefit the Colorado Immigrant Rights Coalition. This is really cool. I love people sharing their food, sharing culture, and highlighting these, these chefs, right? Not just like, here's the recipe, but here's who they are, and here's their story and photos of them. Yeah, and all the chefs have some kind of connection to Colorado as well. And then you flip through, and some of them want to talk about the journey of how you know they got here, or some of them want to talk about more of their background, of their home country. And so um, you know, it's just bringing people right to the front. Very cool. Angeline, thank you.